Did you wake up dangerous yesterday? You feel it? <laughs> Just waking up yesterday. <laughs> No, nah, I ain't feel like Baker Mayfield. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I figured I just when you so how did you wake up? Did you feel different? Was there something different about yesterday and the way the rest of the season had been going to that point, Joe? Uh, no, nah, not to not to not for real. Um, I think it was mainly just you know um, I felt like I knew what type of game it was going to be and what game we needed to have and. Uh, really mainly just rising up to the occasion, man. My number was called. That's all. Well, it, it seemed to be that your number was called more than than other games. Trust me, I'm 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 looking at your games quite a bit, not just because I picked <laughs> the Bengals to win a division, but my 11-year-old has you in his fantasy team, so we're locked in <laughs> on many different fronts. Uh, Joe, uh, was your number called more yesterday than usual this year? Oh, yeah, most most definitely. Um, and, you know, part of that is because we have – uh, three great receivers um, in our offense, and also we have you got you know a guy that you all know in Joe Burrow. So um, you know that's pretty much how it, you know the season has been shaping up. But uh, yesterday was a day for you know for me and the offensive line to you know get down and dirty in them trenches and uh, be physical and finish everything, and that's what we did. What is that? What message does that send when you're down and dirty in the trenches and getting physical? In your mind, Joe? Um, to be real, just knowing that we're able to be run dominant if we need to be. And um, by us having a balanced attack yesterday, I felt like that opened up the offense a lot more uh, than we even thought it would be. But um, I felt like we did everything that was asked of us and we executed, which is the name of the game. Is it um, – I'm, you know, I've been – trying to read up as much as I can, being a lead pipe wielding professional. Uh, did I read that you called a players only meeting with the offensive line to discuss the running game? Joe, did I oh, see yeah, that? Most, most definitely. Um, I definitely did. And uh, them guys, they came in, came in at about 830 in the morning on an off day. Mm -hmm. And I felt like it was definitely beneficial to us. Um, and we're definitely reaping the, benef the benefits from it. So um, it's a great thing to see. Well, again, I know it's players only. And <laughs> that's my setup to ask you, why did you feel compelled to call such a meeting? If you don't um, mind sharing. Just because I felt like it was, you know, within uh, our best interest. Um, and really just getting to know these guys because we have four new guys on the front. And um, just knowing the way they are as uh, – you know, as a player and, you know, cause they obviously all were in different systems and, uh, you know, starting the beginning of the year and even last year we were a wide zone team. So them guys really probably didn't do a lot of wide zone and that, you know, was probably a, a difference for them. So basically just getting them guys on the same page with me and me being on the same page with them, I felt like, uh, like I said, we're be they we're reaping the benefits, man. So it's a great thing to see, and I'm I'm just happy for how them guys performed yesterday. So do you believe, Joe Mixon, that uh, this was a, a corner turned yesterday against Carolina? Um, one thing that I believe is it definitely was a start. Um, I could definitely say it was a start. And I know for one thing that Zach knows he, ha he always has that in his back pocket if that's what he wants. Or in his front, whatever he want to do. Joe Mixon here on the Rich Eisen Show. Have you ever had a five touchdown game before? Uh, yeah, I got asked this question a few times. Okay, I had a few in, uh, you know, Pee Wee football okay. and a few in high school football, and I also had a performance like this in in college, man. So uh, to have one on a, the the games top of the top league, man, it's, it's definitely truly a blessing. When did you know you had five? Did you know it at the time? Were you counting in your head? Did you know? Uh, it? Did you when know? I got the when I got the fourth one, that's when I started counting. Like, okay, I got four touchdowns. I'm mm -hmm. like, oh yeah, I'm trying to go get seven. <laughs> seven. And that, yeah, the next thing you know, like I ended up getting the fifth one. I'm like, bro, like I can't believe this. Like, this is a this is like I'm literally living a dream right now. And uh, I I wasn't. You know, I didn't get seven, obviously, but, um, you know, just being able to get five, man, was definitely a blessing, man. That's something that, you know, being in this league, I never take for granted because it's a privilege to be here. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.